Okay. So, I'll try to make this quite brief and straight to the point and not really dawn on it. So basically yesterday, I was with a couple friends of mine. <clears throat> and we wanted to do chopping, right? right? So, the guy moved location, so he's not under the tunnels anymore. He moved. Yeah. So, I think they were trying to get the information from, you know, um, which was my friend, too. Because it was me, myself, April, Timothy, and Max. Timothy was trying to get the information of the new location from Yuno, but Yuno was being very iffy and not giving it up. So, why we're kind of all dressed up, you know, trying to locate the whole tracking thing of where the new location is. Uh, one of us suggested, um, do we know anyone else they may know about it, perhaps? So, we started, you know, calling, you know, people that maybe can give us some information. So, since I thought, you know, Solomon Walker was close friends with you, I decided to give a shot to call Solomon. So I call him. I was like, "Hey, um, I had a quick question. Do you know where the guy for chopping is now?" And I didn't think he would, you know, just tell me. He was like, "Yeah, you sure? Honestly, I'll do you even one better. I'll show you the location where the guy is." I was like, "Oh, okay, cool." So they drop me off at Vanilla Unicorn, and then Solomon picks me up and takes me to the new spot. Um, he's uh he's down the the, the new guy is down like uh, down the street from um the old. Um, yeah, I know where uh, he's at. Mechanic. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, they, he showed me the spot. I was like, alright, cool. And then he drops <clears> me back off. So, um, I go back to my friends. I tell them, okay, we don't, we don't really need it anymore because I already know where it is. So, Timothy, I'll come back to this. Timothy ended up telling you, you know, like, it's okay. We already got the information from Gigi. We don't, we don't really need it from you. So, he gave my name up. But he, uh, keep, uh, I'll come back to this in, 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 a, in a second. So, after we're driving around, getting ready to go, you know, we buy the uh, tracking device and I'm trying to explain to them that, you know, it's two person per job kind of thing. So, while we're riding around doing that, I get a call from an unknown number. Keep in mind, my name is in the yellow pages. So I get a real call. I was like, hey, um, we want some information. And I'll give you $2,000 for it. And of course, you know, $2,000 is very promising to me. And I figured I could probably just rob this person, you know, just take the money and hit the dash. So yeah, we can meet up. Keep in mind, they did not say I didn't have to come alone whatsoever. So I didn't go alone. So I said, mm -hmm. meet me at the back of Legion Square. It was like, all right, cool. So my friends are the um, my friends are on the opposite side of the the street where Legion Square is. I'm on, I'm by the parking lot across the street from Legion Square. So then the guy fully messed up comes up to me. Um, voice is very different. He goes, hey. Um, I want some information. I was like, okay, we can do an exchange. You give me the $2,000 first, and then I'll probably tell you the information you probably want to know. Obviously, I was going to know. And then he pulls out a gun on me. An actual fucking gun on me. He's like, I'm going to cut to the fucking chase. How did you know about the new fucking, like, location? Who told you? I was like, what are you talking about? He said, you're not the problem. I know you did this before with somebody else. You might as well just come clean. Who gave you the information? And obviously, I was like, I'm not giving that up. I'm not going to give up that information um, and throw Solomon under the bus. So I said, no, I'm not giving that up. He's like, we already know who you did it with early, uh, earlier. So just say who you did it. I said, I mean, there was other people that were doing shopping. I did it with my friend SK um, the other day, which was at the old location. So I was giving him the old information like, oh, I only knew about the one that's underneath the tones on Ultra Street. That's the only one I know. They was like, no, we want the new location. Who gave it? <laughs> she knows you? what Who's she's been doing, getting me involved. Because we want to get to the fucking source. You're not the problem. We just want to know who gave it to you. I said, I'm not. You're going to have to. He was like, you're just going to have to shoot me because I I'm not saying anything. He's like, okay, that's already strike one. You have one more opportunity to tell us or I'm probably going to like either fuck like <clears throat> or, was just threatening me, I guess you can say. So I kept saying, you know, giving him the runaround and wasn't going to give up Solomon or the intel or whatever he was looking for. So then he robs me of my <laughs> SIM card. It takes my knife and my notebook. Go full and like well. It's like, don't let this happen again. We'll, I'll probably be, this probably won't be the last time I'm going to come looking for you. So he leaves, right? I go across the street. I tell, you know, my friends. Oh, before he told me not to call my, to call my friends to not get involved in the, um, to not come over here because he had a gun pointed to me in broad goddamn day, uh, daylight. So I made the call, say, hey, guys, don't get involved. Everything is fucking fine. So I run over after the whole thing occurred. I run over and tell my friends exactly what happened. Yuno's there all of a sudden, and he runs off this, like uh, as soon as the other guy runs off. That is Max. He's like, oh, uh, guys, I got to go. So we get in the car. We're talking like everything that happened. We're trying to put two and two together. It ends up being that 
did you don't set me up because he said to them that he was looking for me was asking where's Gigi right and not to mention that Timothy also confessed that he accidentally gave up my name when he when I was the one that got to end up the new spot but like I said we didn't think too much of it because we didn't think it was that big of a fucking deal so he gave my name up to you know I guess and said my name and right after that I get a call and then that whole thing occurred which makes me see I was being set up so we put two and two together that you know had some involvement of it possibly we may have known the guy or whoever the person was behind the mask who did it so then after that we're trying to pinpoint like everything that happened um my sim card has gone um the person that took my sim card was spamming other people asking like hey do you know about the chop shop blah blah blah, blah this and this and that the only reason I knew about that because I talked to Batar to get your number. So I had a quick brief conversation with Batar. He was already skeptical of me because he said, you sent me a text message just like an hour ago asking about the chop shop. I was like, no, that wasn't me. That has the, I literally tweeted out that my SIM card got stolen. So I was like, yeah, that's not me. Do not listen. Don't respond to it. Um, because they're going around making me seem like I'm the snitch. So that person wanted me to confess to make me look like this and even they went to maybe confront Solomon or whoever and make it see, oh, Gigi was the one that told us. So they were trying to pinpoint making me look like the snitch. So they were going out spamming people asking about the chop So I guess because trying to get to the source, I end up in uh, meeting with Solomon and talking to Solomon about everything, you know, just to, get to watch his back. He said, like, I don't even get what's the fucking reason of why they're going to this extent because it wasn't, they didn't do it to me. They've been doing it to other people as well to figure out who's talking um, and giving up that information about the guy. And we were just saying that I don't even know why it's that big of a deal. It's like just fucking chopping cars. Like, who cares? So that's the reason I'm talking to you because um, they were twisting saying, like, you know, I said, like, you know, I did it with my friend SK and I don't know how, how SK found it. We just, we just went and did it. So that's why I'm telling you because I don't know if they'll come after you, whoever they uh, whoever this person is, but I know they have a gun and they're like going around threatening people trying to get like who links what. So yeah, and then I had a meeting with you know earlier, I guess, and I said very well, he's being very off putting, of course, and I said you have to get my SIM card back. Because I don't, I don't trust you. I don't trust you didn't know any of that. I don't trust that you didn't have any involvement in that. Obviously, you're not going to tell, you know, who did it, obviously, because I think he has some kind of loyalty to whoever he's running with, right? So, right now, I, I don't trust, you know, right now. But I figure I just told you, I told Solomon, I guess I told, I talked to Batar, just to be careful because, you know, certain people are going around, like, people at gunpoint no. about certain stuff <clears throat> being leaked. You know what I'm saying? So. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. If they're holding you up over the shop spot, I don't like. They're gonna realize very quickly that it's not that big of a secret. That's what I'm saying. Like, everyone fucking knows about it. Like, it does not take a genius to work out where the fuck it is. And even if you, like, like that, I, I can't imagine, like they can, I don't know, it's pretty fucking, sounds like someone's just trying to press people for the sake of pressing people and they ain't got people around them that are just or saying to have it like, all to themselves. Yeah, but it's never going to work like that, it's chop. That's what I'm saying. And you know, told me that, yeah, I try to call the other GG, which makes me seem they probably weren't even, probably even looking for me. Which makes me say I'm connected to some of the other GG and I just, you know, happened to be in the crossfire. They went for me instead, you know what I'm saying? Mm. So I don't even know. So this whole thing is now. super, it's like, just blown out of proportion. Me. And just to go to that extent to threaten or try to get shot over or set up for, it's just so stupid. Because it's not literally anything. It's literally just chopping cars. You're not going to get, they won't get any info though. Because, like, realistically, it boils down to... You found out from Solomon. Solomon mm -hmm. found out from Patar. Patar paid 2k for the information off forehead. Like, criminals would sell information to other people, you know? Patar didn't pay right. the 2k, but other boys fronted it, but. You know what I mean? Like, that's where it came from. Yeah.
ultimately. So, yeah, so they've been doing it to other people. So, yeah, he's the person's been running out with a gun, holding up people, trying to, I guess, find the source. So, just in case I wanted to just warn you, in case they come looking for you, just, you know, you're just prepared for that. Because I, I don't know. What, I'll be what's all happening. right. I would assume that's what they want, though. They probably want to speak. They were probably trying to get a hold of me because they said, "Are you around? I need help with something." Yeah, that wasn't me. So they're probably were trying to meet up with you to probably do the what same they thing like? they did to me. They were dressed in fully black gear, like a SWAT, whatever, and had a mask, um, all black with a gun. Looks like a Glock or something. Um, it was just himself. You know, I I don't know. Like obviously, he probably didn't have the probably didn't know what exactly what was going. But of course, he was involved. Maybe even after, so maybe he didn't even know that was going to even happen, especially to me. But obviously, he didn't want to give up the person's name. It makes me skeptical that he is involved with that person. Um, but I, I don't I don't know. He 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 didn't want to give the person up. So it makes me seem like he's working with them. Or knows him, or but I have no fucking idea. But it sounds like a lead that will die out. Like you can't if you're trying to press people for information like that. When it's a person in a public area, if it was someone in the sewers or it was someone like harder to access, mm -hmm. I'd get it. But like every day that passes, where they're trying to work out, they'll realize more and more people are gonna be finding out. It's like it's not really like we was there. I was there earlier with fucking. I went there with um with Nunu mm -hmm. and two random group six dons pulled up like it's it ain't no secret yeah so I I don't know what their play is here then I don't know sounds like I, I, you gotta realize at the moment there's a lot of criminals that aren't satisfied with the things they can do so it's a lot of aggression mm -hmm. I reckon you'll be all right, though. I don't think... I honestly... They might come for me, but I actually doubt it. Yeah. I know that... You know hangs around with... Marty... Um... Ray... Mickey... Maybe a few other people. But... Just in case if he is associated with anyone who was part of that... To be aware of in the... You know, just in the future, so... Yeah. Okay. Say less. Well. That's all I wanted to tell you, though. Good job you're still alive. What have you been up to? I need to eat food. Do you have any food on you right now? Uh, no. Can you please take the mask off. Wait, why? <laughs> I can't take you seriously, SK, with that fucking thing on your face. I am it literally looks like the I'm, I'm speaking to Jimmy Neutron's fucking teacher. I am the woodpecker. You're so fucking annoying.